let's continue to define perfection because this, this definition might surprise you. I looked the word up in the Webster's 1828 dictionary. Here it goes. To complete, to do or make through, to carry to the end. Finished, complete, not defective, having all that is requisite to its nature and kind. Fully informed, completely skilled. It's also a perfect chord in music a concord or union of sounds which is perfectly coalescent and agreeable to the ear. I love that because with music, we don't really have a control over what sounds come out of certain instruments. I mean, once a musician is trained enough, they know what will produce the sound, but they have no control over what that sound will be like. And that's kind of like how we are. We are a sound. But too many times people think that perfection has they don't even think about completion. They think about all the things that they have to do in order to be considered perfect. And because they look at how many things they have to do, they know that it will never, ever be enough. And that's why performance-based identity, it's never going to be satisfying. In fact, the other side of performance-based identity is something terrible, which is basing who you are on your mistakes. As soon as you mess up, as soon as you make a mistake, as soon as you fail, then you allow that to define who you are. But nothing, nothing you do or don't do, nothing you grade A at or a big fat F at can change the value of who you really are. I cover this topic about getting away from performance-based identity and discovering your inherent worth and the real you in my upcoming book. Here's an exercise for you. I want you to think about your most treasured possession, your favorite thing. Do you got it? Well, now I want you to journal the feeling you have about that item. The real you is who you are, not what you've done. Knowing your inherent value, that it's perfect and unmatched, helps you accept yourself. And this realization gives you the power to be yourself. I've got more for you. You can follow me online on Instagram and Twitter at ABONTV.